I'm a ghetto by dress, so I'm me, mum and oh, no, no, yeah. yeah. well, no, get it, check out my own, my own. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can achieve a frontal look with a closure. And for this tutorial, I'm going to be using this gorgeous, gorgeous hair from Ali Annabelle. If you want to see how I achieve the look, keep on watching. So first things first, I'm, I've already made the hair into a wig. I'm going to link my wig tutorials down below in my description box. So I'm just using T pins to pin the wig onto my what's it called wig head. This wig head has seen better days as you can see right now. <laughs> so I just used a couple of pins to pin the hair backwards, and I'm just taking a pair of tweezers and tweezing the closure like I would a frontal. Guys, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know. I think I was in a hurry. I twist this hair a little too much <laughs> so it still looks great but it could have been better so right now I'm just taking a couple of stray hairs in, in front and taking it out so I can use it for baby hairs then I'm just tweezing it trying to achieve a natural looking hairline I'm going to link a very detailed customization video down below that video my frontal customization was only 100 in that video i don't know what happened here but i think that would be a better video to show you guys how i customize my frontals so it's pretty much the same thing i just customized it using you just need to find a very good pair of tweezers that you'd have control with so i'm just you guys should just watch and see how i customize it So after customizing it, this is the bundle of hair that came out from the customization process. So right now, I just took my color of foundation and applied it on the closure like I'm doing right now using a brush. Then like I would a frontal, like when I'm installing my frontals, the same process. I use my got to be spray, spray it on my hairline where I want to lay the closure. So I just put it only in the middle because that's where the closure is going to be. I allowed it to get tacky. I allowed it to get dry. Afterwards, I took the wig and put it on. You guys can see the area that I plucked. You guys see? So it's not, it's not looking like a closure right now. So just swatch and see how I would make it look even more frontal looking. This hair is gold, you guys. Do you guys see how the brush is just going through it? It's soft, tangle free. If you are interested in purchasing this hair, I'm going to leave all the details in the description box down below. So for this look, I was going for a, a middle part. So I'm just taking a tail comb and parting it in the middle. I took these clips to keep the hair away then I used a hot hair curler you can also use an iron to achieve this I'm just using it to flatten the parts and flatten the hair so it's not looking high and bumpy in front then I'm going to go into the got to be blue the black one now I'm just taking out the baby hairs that I left in the beginning when I was customizing the hair I'll just take a, um, a razor blade and cut the baby hair so it's not so long you guys will see me do that in a second yeah so i'm using the blade to cut the baby hairs now i'm taking a toothbrush and the got to be glue and i'm just laying the baby hairs
After laying the baby hairs, I went into a scarf and I tied it down so that the hair is as flat as possible and I let it sit on my head for a little while before I took out the scarf. So do you guys see? Do you guys see how laid that is? Like, it now looks like a frontal. It's pretty easy, pretty easy. The only thing that takes time is customizing the, the closure to look like a frontal. So being, um, being a perfectionist that I am, I still went back into the hair curler to flatten it some more. So that's it guys, pretty easy. Very easy actually. So right now I'm showing you guys that you could also part it in a side part. So that's what I'm doing right now. So just you just make your pattern and then go into a hot hair curler like I did before and press it down onto the pattern so it's flat. That's it, pretty easy. Hope you guys learned a thing or two. If you have any questions, please comment in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to answer. The link to this hair will be in my description box down below. I love you guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.